Hey Gemini, how y'all doing? Welcome. We are gonna be doing your first half of April animal and angel energy reading here. This round is gonna be a bit different. I feel like the collective medicine is about taking each day and treating it as its own individual experience and universe, honey. <laughs> um, and around that, I just feel like some animal medicine and some angel medicine is just the ticket, so. Let's see what's going on for y'all. We're gonna start out with the animal energy and then we're gonna get your animal advice and then move right over into the celestial realm here with these gorgeous angels. So what is the animal energy for Gemini for the first half of April? Oh, I like it so much. Oh my God. We got the swan, Gemini, trying to make me smile over here. So this is such a beautiful, beautiful energy for y'all to get. So the swan is about a few different things. now. Firstly, the swan very much indicates a romantic energy around you, right? Now, this romantic energy can take, you know, more than one form, of course, on one hand. Uh, this can be about self-love, right? Really loving what you see when you look in the mirror, right? So this feels hugely important because you see this mirror surface here, right? I feel like, you know, during this time, we do have time to be with ourselves and uh, be in a bit of a slower pace. And so I do feel like it's, it, this is coming up because it's a beautiful opportunity for you to right now to really look within, be your own mirror and really look and see. I'm seeing the image of a mirror with some smudges on it. You know what I mean? Like the little fingerprints or little smudges or little, and I just have this image of just like really giving that mirror a good old clean and honey. But I mean, we're cleaning anyway right now. You might as well spritz, spritz and wipe, wipe, wipe that reflective surface, right? And I feel like there are aspects of yourself that are coming up to be examined and seen clearly right now, okay? Now, on the other hand, you know, let, let's talk about romance, why don't we though? Because this also absolutely represents romantic connections, swans do, absolutely. So you could also have an energy around you that is your reflected, that is your mirror, right? Because sometimes when we partner with people, it's like you can do all the self-work in the world, but the real work <laughs> comes when you are with someone where you're looking at them and suddenly they're reflecting back to you all of the unhealed aspects of yourself are really highlighting for you, oh, I still have that to work on. I think that needs a little more attention. You know, they're, they're kind of shining a light on your shadow aspects, as it were, which is a beautiful thing. That's why, that's the point, isn't it? to like live and grow and evolve and whatnot. But love is the key and the ticket here. This can also be about familial love and relationships as well. Um, anything that activates the, the heart chakra for sure. And this is about really receiving your sustenance and all of your feel goods from your interpersonal relationships at this time. Also not excluding the relationship you have with yourself because if that ain't right, <laughs> right? everything else is, is uh, you know, going to not reach its full growth potential, right? If, if your relationship with yourself um, needs some tending to, right? So let's go ahead and get your advice. Oh, I love that you've got the swan energy. Beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> a scorpion honey for your advice let's talk so i'm kind of obsessed with this reading right now gemini um so scorpio and scorpio well yeah scorpio let's talk about scorpios you know scorpios are deep deep feelers water energy um although this is rep by fire energy here technically deep feelers you know when the scorpion falls out of balance is when it doesn't have enough alone time so it's interesting, given the current landscape of things, this is coming up as your advice. You know, to me, what I'm getting with this is the call to respond and not react. Respond, don't react, right? Sometimes our first initial, especially right now when everything is heightened anyway, sometimes if we just take a moment when we feel that pinch, when we feel that, you know, trigger, when we feel those emotions rise up, right? It can be so beneficial to just be the air sign that you are about it anyway. Take a moment, do nothing, right? Just be there, ooh, ooh, ooh. filter through, edit, rearrange, look at it, right? Looking at that mirror, right? Really looking at things, right? And then responding, taking your time around that. 
right? Being cognizant of that for sure. You know, I'm also drawn to these colors here. So these represent the lower chakras, right? I'm really hearing that because, and then also this reflective, uh, you know, this mirror imagery here as well. Okay, I'm really getting for you guys that there are gonna be some emotions coming up for you that are of your highest and best good to feel your way through. Okay, sometimes, especially as you know, air signs, we're like, oh, okay, I feel it, but I'm gonna go ahead and feel part of it and then file it away for later. Like, I'm seeing the image of like eating half of a sandwich <laughs> and then putting the rest of the sandwich in the fridge for later and then forgetting about it. <laughs> but I'm really getting that. It's like, as these emotions come up, that is really helpful information for you. That by letting those emotions sit with you is the most constructive thing you can do is what I'm getting for you guys. And it really feels like a beautiful opportunity here because even though this is technically rep by fire energy, Scorpios are water, and then you have this one here, which is water. So this is really about sitting with the emotions that come up for you, not dismissing them early, <laughs> not, not feeling them halfway and then putting them back in the refrigerator or whatever have you, right? Or in the back of your mind or subconscious, right? This is really letting it all in to work through it right? Work with it too, because it also feels like your emotions are a superpower that, that maybe you've yet to tap into fully, right? Your emotions are what fuel your intuition after all, right? I like it. You know, also this clear reflective surface with the swan is, well, I've talked about this before and, and, and I will continue to do so. Um, if you think about a lake, that is still, right? It can get stinky, murky, you can't see to the bottom. Whereas a river that is constantly moving and flowing, those are clear water. So I'm getting this image of these emotions with this scorpion here. Let yourself sit in that lake all the way to the bottom, the emotions that come up for you. And this could be other people towards you as well, right? But really letting them sit in that without coming from a place of like, well, how can we fix it? Or how can we just, okay, let's move. Let's talk about positive things right now. Let's keep it positive right? I'm hearing that there's a line between keeping it positive, but also the emotional maturity um, and strength it takes to really sit in those emotions as well so you can work through them. And then the positivity that comes is a natural, organic, you know, movement as a result of sitting in that lake to get to the river, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay. All right. Stunning. Let's go ahead and get an angel oracle from a Gemini's. Wow, that took three seconds. Oh my, okay. Look at how stunning. Prioritize, Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. I really like this. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. I think that that's stunning. I'm also drawn to the purple here, which is the color of the crown chakra. Again, tapping in your intuition. We were just talking about that. You know, it's, it's really interesting. I keep getting this message of the lower chakras, the, the physical body, what roots us down into the earth with the root chakra, um, anything that rules over you know finances, home, security, stability, and then the water here, which is like the upper chakras of emotion and feeling and intuition. I feel like you're being called to balance all of your chakras and having them working in tandem and together, which could indicate that there, you know, you might go through periods where you feel inclined to just kind of focus on one aspect more than the other, right? I'm going to focus on the physical things and what can I accomplish physically and on the 3D things or on the flip side. No, I'm really, I just want to, you know, focus on the, you know, the, the emotional aspects. I want, I want to sit here and just like not deal with the more mundane or 3D aspects of life. I feel both things going on here. So back to this prioritize bit, I feel like this is gonna be different for each and every one of you, but I feel like in terms of the priorities, you know, indecision is a decision. Indecision is a decision. So you're being called to allow your emotions right? That superpower of yours to really guide you as to what is in your highest and best good on a day-to-day -day and moment-to-moment -moment basis. That's what this is. So that you can get to that river, right? Stunning and beautiful. All right, my gorgeous Geminis, this is your first half of April animal and angel medicine. I so hope, I so hope that this is of help to you. I'm sending you all of the love and light and energetic support, and as always, thank you so much for being you, and be well. Until next time.